Hello, hi there, this is Junior Trader and in this video we'll be taking a look at NEO stock and we'll be doing some technical analysis and also we'll be identifying some of the key levels and patterns that NEO stock is forming and in specific we'll be focusing on the double bottom pattern that I identified yesterday uh, but was waiting to see if we're gonna get a follow through on that and looks like today we did get a follow through on that pattern so we'll be jumping into what may possibly be coming for neo stock in coming days and if this is a turn around that we all have been waiting for for quite a while now for a few months i would say right also with that please remember none of this is any financial advice and is only for education purposes with that also please hit the like and subscribe if you like watching my videos and with that let's begin now it doesn't seem very apparent on the candlestick chart of neo but as soon as i jump into the line chart you can very clearly see NEO forming double bottom at one of the very important key level that we have had. And this double bottom pattern you can see right over here. This first swap bottom and the second bottom and then from there stock went up. Now, now since I have drawn these two circles, now let's jump back to the candles because now we can identify where we received a follow through. So we did receive this green candle right yesterday that broke over the neckline of the double bottom so if i go back there so if you see this neckline has been broken right which means double bottom pattern has been confirmed and neo stock is going to the upside now falling to the last day candle today we also see because I did notice that yesterday this candle when it broke the neckline and confirmed the double bottom pattern it did resist at 20 days moving average which is this yellow line so I wanted to see if today it's gonna get over 20 days moving average or it's just gonna stay below that but today since it got over the 20 days moving average it is a really good confirmation in you know um, in my opinion that uh, NEO stock may very well be getting some momentum back to the upside in coming days and because nothing has changed fundamentally for NEO, you know, company in any form or manner, it has been only getting better and better. Like NEO delivers those amount of cars in a month that except Tesla, other EV producers are delivering in say six months or a year. Like NEO is way ahead of everyone else. They definitely need to do more on their PR and marketing to, you know, you know they drive up the stock price they are really not into that and tesla has its own you know ongoing you know marketing campaign but the how strong neo company is if they have a good pr and marketing department i mean the stock would rally but you know the company is just not focusing in that direction right which is unfortunate so okay now we see these two green candles right I still believe that we need to still get over this $9.67, which is still a resistance because we need to get back into this range of $9.67 to $12.38. And more precisely, um, once we get over the you know $12.37 or so and consolidate and you know stay above it, that's when we would eventually get over this 200 days moving average and that will give us a chance to be confirmed that okay now neo is getting back into the momentum to the upside and we can rely on some of the moves and the planning as to trade it as well on the swing to the upside right now from many months neo has been just going sideways right neo just is in the range it's falling below the range and it's just it's just not doing much right but in the last two days as i said the double bottom pattern has been confirmed it's getting over 20 days moving average we definitely need it over nine dollars and 67 cents and also over this purple line which is the 50 days moving average and eventually best would be to see new over 12 dollars and 37 cents but at least this what you know what i'm looking at at least shows us something that all right neo is not falling much more at least there is a pattern that has been confirmed right that doesn't goes to say that neo can't fall down tomorrow but at least there is more chance after confirming the double bottom pattern that there is more chance and probability of NEO will keep going up from here. We will see. The important key levels to note are $9.67 break of it will give us more confidence to the upside and then 50 days moving average we've got to get over that that will give us more confidence to the upside. 
Now, very quickly, I want to jump to five minutes chart and show you guys how new in the last two days has been performing. So as you can clearly see, Neo bro broke, so this is the, you know, the neckline of double bottom and this is your double bottom right over here, right? So consolidation, right? And the break of it, then consolidation to the upside, broke the neckline again and then forming a new consolidation. Hopefully it does not fall from here, right? Now, you can clearly see how Neo has been now getting back into its ladder steps to the upside. So it goes up, goes up and consolidates. So and that's what we want to see. We don't want to see NEO breaking below again, right? Um, we need NEO to just keep going up in this direction. And yeah, so even again, like guys, so I still won't touch it on the day trading side. I really want NEO to show some confirmation that, you know, it can be a reliable player again on the intraday trading side as well and even on the swing side because we first want to see NEO get out of these ranges, right? We get, we need to see NEO get over $9.63 and at least get over this $12.37 to at least be in some playable area, right? Right now, NEO just what does what? Like moves 50, 60 cents down and in just chops around. It's not a tradable stock right now. I have my long position on NEO, which I'm, you know, holding. And I believe Neo is a strong company, and you know I I have done plenty of video on Neo. I would highly suggest you check out my channel if you want to learn more about the, where I have gone over the data and compared Neo with other EVs. That why I believe Neo stock is undervalued, and I'll also leave the link to this playlist in the description below. So feel free to check it out. And yeah, coming back to the stock price here, there is nothing much more to cover. Um, you know. It's pretty much what I wanted to cover as for maybe there is a now potential upside, uh, you know, coming for NEO. And we just have to see in coming days how it reacts around those key levels that we have drawn. And that's pretty much what I wanted to cover in this video with you guys. If you liked it, enjoyed it, please hit the like and subscribe. With that, I'll see you in my next video, guys. Take care. Bye.